Lord is real, real good about leading me to different churches. I hadn't found the one I was supposed to join yet, but I keep going to different ones. I finally found a church that's full of people more crazier than I am, Lord, called Unitarians. Have you ever heard of such a thing? I went last week and visited this church, and they did the mingling of the waters. What? I've never been nowhere had that. We didn't have that in any church I've ever been. We had baptism, but they said they don't believe in all that. This damn Unitarian business, I tell you what, I took some home of their pamphlets and read them over and turns out half of them is witches, half of them is atheists, and the other half don't believe in nothing. I said, well, do y'all have any kind of books y'all read? He says, I'll read anything you want to. Let's just keep coming back. I said, what do we do next week? He said, Lord only knows. He said, bring you gardening gloves to probably go out there and give thanks to the earth. <laughs> oh, Lord. Sometimes I'm just ready to sit back down in a pew. <laughs> Do it the normal way. <laughs> I took a wrong turn one time and ended up in Quaker Church. Have you ever been one in? Oh my God. 18 adults sitting in a circle. It's like an AA meeting, but there was nobody saying it. I didn't know what to say. I just sat there, sat there. Nobody said nothing. 30 minutes went by. I kept looking at my watch. Finally, I thought I'd break the ice. I got up and said, Hello, I'm Betty Butterfield. I'm alcoholic. Lord, you could have heard him I had a talk with the preacher at the Unitarian Church afterwards. I said, what exactly do you people believe? Lord, he starts re reading me all this rigmarole, sounds like an Al Gore speech, and the dignity of the everything, and honor this and that. And I said, what do you people believe in? And he said, nothing. Lord, I said, well, it's good to finally make someone honest. So many of these preachers today is just full of it. I gave so much money to Robert Chilton. I wish I had that all back. I didn't know his big old phonies. Then I got hooked on Joyce Myers till she went from being funny to meddling in people's lives. I don't need all that. 